Okay guys, we're back at it. We got a pretty good day today. Nice bright day. Got a mirror out here. We're going to see what kind of uh, heat we can get today. So I'm going to get this piece of cardboard in front of here. And just see what we get going here. You notice that cardboard right away is starting to smoke. Actually, it's very intense. That thing has got to be up there a couple thousand degrees. I better stop this out. So at this point, what we're going to do, we're going to go get our uh, pot of water. Okay, we're out here again today. We've got a beautiful day today. No clouds in the sky. And we're going to do our test. Once again, we've got a glass container lined with an aluminum shell as a conductor. And I'm going to start the test with 500 milliliters of water in here. And this time, I'm going to be a little more careful. I got myself a welding mask. I'm going to put this on. I also got myself a set of welding gloves. What we're going to do is try to position this pot at the focal point. Ooh, wee. And that pot is glowing. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to lift up the back, or lift up the uh, arm that holds the pot a bit, and try to get that right in position. We also have got an infrared thermometer. Wow. That thing's already up to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can't even put your hand in front of this thing. It's so tremendously hot right now. So we're going to uh, let this run for a few minutes and get back with you. Over and out. Ozzy Oz. Okay, folks, we're back at it here. It's only been about a uh, minute and a half. If you look carefully, this aluminum is steaming. This temperature right now at the aluminum is about 227 degrees Fahrenheit. So this whole aluminum shell, wow. At this point, you can't even touch this aluminum shell here. This shell is just, it's at over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to uh, let that run a bit and see just how long it takes us to uh, boil this 500 milliliters of water. That's it for now. Okay guys, we're back at it. It's been about eight minutes now and you're starting to see the, the, the water is just starting to boil. If you look carefully here, you see our boiling, our little bubble starting to climb up here. This whole shell is about 100, 252 degrees. And the problem I see, not, you cannot, you definitely can't put your hand in this path of this, uh, this heat here. This is too hot. I think what we'll have to do is just pull this pot forward a little bit, but we are getting a tremendous amount of energy. And the way our mirror is designed, it's not perfectly at a focal point. We feel a lot of energy all around this area. I would say within about a one foot area of this pot, there's just a tremendous amount of energy here. And right now we're doing the best we can to direct it toward this pot. I don't know if you can zoom in on this, but if you look carefully, this water now is starting to boil here. And if I get a reading on this thing here, According to this thing, it's at about 205 degrees right now. And I'm using an infrared for, uh, thermometer, actually. So it looks like it's beginning to boil at this point here. Okay, guys, we're back at it here. It's been probably about 15 minutes. Uh, what's happening, I took a read on this thing. It reached about 190 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Fahrenheit, but it seems like it's reached an equilibrium. And as the sun shifts, we would have to readjust our uh, pot, but we notice again that there's a, that just by the design of our mirror with all the tiny little mirrors, we don't get a nice crisp point. Rather, we get a heat distributed all around, kind of like in a ball. But we still are getting a tremendous amount of heat there, but what we, we thought we'd try to do here is actually cook a hot dog. So we went over to the freezer, I picked up a frozen hot dog here. I've got a skewer. 
I have a problem getting this in here, so I got a drill motor. So what I'll do is I'll drill a couple holes in this hot dog and just see if we might be able to cook a hot dog. Get this lined up a bit. So we're going to put this hot dog hopefully onto this skewer. Like that, there we go. That's pretty good there. That's our hot dog. Whoo! Gotta close these up guys, that's pretty intense. Now we're gonna put this out here and see what we can do with this hot dog. See if there's any practical way to cook a hot dog in one of these solar ovens. I can feel the heat just as I stand here. So I'll roll this around for a while and I'll get back with you guys in a few minutes here.